Bangladesh's GDP grew nearly 7% annually between 2011 and 2019, according to the Asian Development Bank. The booming economy isn't just financially enriching the nation, it's also ushering in a new era of social change. Our garden is located in the very northern tip of Bangladesh. It's an area where there wasn't a lot of agriculture and no tea at all. It was very barren. And when we first there, everyone said nothing can grow here. Over the past two decades, Kazi Anis Ahmed's family converted the landscape into the Kazi and Kazi Tea Estate, the only USDA certified organic tea garden in Bangladesh. He credits regenerative and organic agriculture for this transformation. Here, composting replaces chemical pesticides and fertilizers, and biogas helps power the estate. With a lot of soil enrichment, we created the conditions where tea could be planted. It has turned into this tremendous journey of regenerative agriculture, and we have ended up actually creating an entire ecosystem. Today, on these three and a half thousand acres, seven different varieties of tea are grown. Ahmed says about a quarter of this tea is exported under a label called Titulia, one of Bangladesh's most well-known international tea brands. But when the company formed in 2000, Ahmed says that the local community was the priority. My father was already doing other business in that area. It used to be one of the poorest districts 20 years ago. And that's why we felt it was important to do something there that would create economic uh, opportunities for the people who live there. The business set out to achieve this by both employing locals at the tea garden and setting up a cooperative with neighboring residents. The co-op lends cows to women like Selena Khatoon, who can sell dairy products and keep the profit. They do this in exchange for giving cow dung back to the garden, which is used to create organic fertilizer. So far, I have taken eight cows from the co-op. Some helped me earn a profit and buy land. In 2008, this cooperative started with just 25 women. By now, we have over 3,500 active members, so it has been a real life changer for them, but it has been a vital support for us to keep growing as an organic tea garden. There's no doubt that Ahmed's tea estate has not only transformed the physical landscape, but also the surrounding community. Across the country, entire industries are having similar effects. 